Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres, and if you'd like to apply to become an author in one of our upcoming books, just head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Fred Joyle on the line, and he is CEO of True Blue Social Smiles. Fred, welcome to the show. Adam, it's great to be here. All right, Fred. So uh, for my long-term audience, they know I love promoting authors and books, and I know you have a new one out, Super Bowls from Underconfident to Charismatic in 90 Days. I think it's a great title. I think there's even greater content inside of it, so we'll go into that. And of course, I want to learn more about what you're doing over at True Blue Social Smiles. Um, but before we do that, we'll start this episode the way that we start them all with our Mission Matters Minute. So Fred, we at Mission Matters, we am Amplify stories for entrepreneurs, executives, and experts. That's our mission. Fred, what mission matters to you? Uh, my personal mission, uh, and which is what the book is about, uh, the title of the book is Super Bold. Uh, and basically, I grew up as a very shy, uh, person, and I missed tons of opportunities. And I taught myself over many decades how to become bolder and bolder. Uh, and I realized it was a superpower. And what happens is, to me is I stopped creating a life of regrets and missed opportunities. And I realized I could teach it. And so I'm very passionate about helping people to be bold when it matters and, it's, and to understand that they can learn it. And I want to impact as many people to live bold lives so that they make a difference in their lives and a difference in the world. And my new company, uh, True Blue Social Smiles, streamlines the process of eliciting video testimonials from your customers and then allowing you to take full advantage of them online in every possible media. Uh, it's the most powerful marketing tool ever created that the customer testimonial, and I'm doing it for all of healthcare, um, but it's hard to get those things done, but they make it, they're incredibly persuasive and believable because they're so authentic. So I'm, I have two passions in my life, the business and, and the book, Super Bold. So that's, the, I'm, I got two things driving me right now, Adam. That's awesome. Uh, love to bring mission-based individuals on the line to share why they do what they do, how they're doing it, and really what we can all learn and gain from that together. So we all we all grow together. So great having you on. And uh, I guess just to get us kicked off, so tell tell us more about the book. So Super Bowl from underconfident to charismatic in ninety days. Like, what was the inspiration? Uh, you know, I started to see bold people doing things and. And, and enjoying their lives and meeting who they wanted to meet. And that's, you know, from a business standpoint, your ability to meet anybody you want is almost the difference between success and failure because so much of what you do is uh, involves the connections you make or your ability to attract money, attract an investor, attract a customer, uh, and and to attract great employees and to empower those employees, take risks, uh, and and also in your personal life to to find the person you want to be with, to find the friends you want to be with, uh, takes boldness and it's it's a life skill, and but people think you're either born with it or not, and you can develop it because I did. I I I'm at a point now where I can walk onto a stage and the 5,000 people in the audience, and I can't wait to get out there. And, and I can literally meet anybody I want. I can walk up to anybody. It, it could be, uh, you know, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, or it could be uh, George Bush or, or Obama or, or anybody. And I can walk up and have a, a conversation with them. And I can, you know, and if it's a, a person, a business person I want to meet, I've met, you know, I know, at this point in my life, five or six billionaires that I've had the, the pleasure of having a normal conversation with, uh, from from Tony Robbins to Tony Shea, uh, the former uh, CEO of, of Zappo. I want people to know that you can learn it, and I teach a systematic way for you to do it. 
step by step to build your boldness muscle so that you're bold when it matters most so that you 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 know you can summon it even if you don't feel confident you can summon your boldness to step up to speak up to take that risk to take that opportunity so you don't have a life where you stacked up the regret so I, I know that some people, I guess you'd say, could think about but when they think of the word bold, um, they might think, you know, aggressive or salesy or like all these negative maybe connotations that don't necessarily apply. I think a lot of times the idea of being bold and going up and doing some of the things you said kind of gets the wrong rap of like and, and culturally because they feel like, you know, being bold, like, do I want to be? Can I be like, ah, that's just not me. Like, can you dispel maybe some of that myth of, of that negative? Negative connotation to being bold and can you just maybe elaborate on the type of boldness that you're talking about yeah it's not about being a show-off it's or or craving yeah. attention <laughs> it's about stepping speaking up when when it's appropriate to speak up you know I, I the the example I give that I think is one of the strongest is when you there's an opportunity to give a eulogy for someone you love, a parent, a sibling, or a, a close friend, and you stop yourself because you say, oh, uh, I, I, I'm not a public speaker. I, I hate to be up and speak in front of people. Well, guess what? You won't get another chance to tell all of these people how you feel about this person. And also, it's, it's about are you bold enough to ask for a promotion? Are you bold enough to quit your job? Are you bold enough to say to your spouse, look, we either got to get therapy or a divorce. It's going to be one or the other. We can't go on like this. That's other people are afraid to speak up. They hesitate because of their, of what's going to happen. And what happens is they things stay the same or get worse or they miss an opportunity. And so it's not about drawing attention to yourself. It's about chasing your dreams and not being the one to stop yourself. Bold people can be very humble, can be very low key, but they are chasing their dreams and they are never stopping themselves. That's the most important thing. Mm. So I want to jump around here a bit, uh, a little bit, and I want to spend some time on True Blue Social Smile. Um, so tell us a little bit more about the company. It, it, it was developed by a, a, a gentleman who developed a very uh, impactful software, revolutionary software, many years ago for the dental industry, and he ended up selling it for uh, several hundred million dollars when he did it. So when he came to me in January, he says, I am working on something new. Uh, he says, because you you talk about because I, I do. A, I, I come from a marketing background. I've written a couple of marketing books for the dental industry because that was my previous life as I was the founder and CEO of 1-800-DENTIST. Um, and so I'm, I'm kind of known in the dental industry as a marketing guy. And I'm always telling dentists, you need to get video testimonials from your patients. And it's a challenge to do that in any business. And it's because people hesitate. They don't know how to do it. They don't know how to get people to do it on their phone. And then they don't know what to do with the video. So mm -hmm. what my friend Sam developed is this software that streamlines the whole process, makes it easy for the, for the patient or the customer to do the video. But what it does is it embeds your logo into the video and a call to action. So if they post it on their social media, they can, that person who watches the video, which is very persuasive, they can find your business. And then the other really important part is the business now owns the video. The patient has agreed to give that video to the business. So now the business can use it on their website, in their social media, in their ads, in their Google and Yelp profiles. It is a very versatile marketing tool, and this software allows somebody to take advantage of it. We reduce almost all of the friction in the whole process, so it's as easy as possible to maximize the benefits of a video testimonial. 
Yeah, I think it's great. And uh, I'm a big fan of video testimonials in general. I just see what they work. And, and what I think is interesting is that, you know, especially a lot for a lot of business owners out there, so even though they know they should be, you know, getting them, um, you know, it, there's always this maybe thought process of maybe it doesn't always apply to them or this or that. But the funny part is, is I always like to turn that question back at them, especially people that say, ah, video, you know, they don't necessarily understand it. I'm like, so I, I, I like to take people through their own body journey and I'm like when's the last time you bought something because of video do you think you're the only one that has that like affinity for it or that you're the only one smart enough to be like let me watch some videos on this person that the whole world is doing something different no that's how we buy so to neglect that or to, to think that video is um, that you can afford to be without video I mean I mean maybe you can maybe you've been practiced long enough or been doing it long enough but I tell you what the, the person that does get it right, um, they're going to be gaining ground on you because I sure like to buy from video and I think many of the other people that are that are maybe a little slow in video are buying from video too. What do you think, Fred? <laughs> it's so persuasive because it's authentic. It's, yeah, it's a person yeah, saying, <laughs> I, you know, you can't force somebody to say, I really love this business. I wouldn't go anywhere else. This changed my whole viewpoint about this particular product, whatever. Uh, I looked at a whole bunch of other things, and, and this was my choice. Mm -hmm. They are actively willing to say something positive about the business in one take. It's not produced. It's not edited. It's not elicited except that you ask them to do it, right? So mm -hmm. that's why it's so believable because yeah. it, it's, it, you know, anything else can be edited. You know, these highly produced videos that people do you say yeah yeah let's, of course you're going to say nice stuff about yourself yeah. um i want to hear what other people think it's it's why right. yelp and google reviews became so powerful but people don't read them they see five star review uh and 870 reviews they're not going to read them it's like mm -hmm. tell me what somebody says uh so they see it on instagram or or facebook uh or on the business's website and they scroll all through the text and they find a video to watch about what a customer said, what a patient has to say about this business. And they watch those. And in 20, 30 seconds, I mean, think about at the beginning of the show, what I said about two passions, two things I'm extremely passionate about. I said it in less than a minute. So a patient can say, a customer can say, a ton of things in 20 or 30 seconds. And that's, that's all people need to hear. They don't need a long story. They just need to believe that they're making a good decision because somebody else liked it. Yeah. And uh, so I know you mentioned that you're doing, you're rolling this out to different um, medical professions and practices. Is this uh, only for the medical profession at this time or give us a little bit of that flavor for maybe the, the rollout no, so, and the growth? So there's a, there's a master company called Social Venue, V-E-N-U, that is doing all the other businesses. I'm doing healthcare. I have the exclusive license for healthcare. Mm. So, uh, but we're, we're rolling it out uh, to everybody. The founder of, mm. of Social Venue said, look, I, I know you can, you, you've got the inroads in dentistry yep. and healthcare. You do that. I want to do all the other stuff. You know, he's got a big contract with Top Golf right now uh, mm -hmm. that they're just rolling it out. And it's the kind of thing that businesses love because it's very hard to promote your business these days. What are you going to do? Yeah. TV ads? People don't yeah. watch them. <laughs> they don't, and, they, and when they watch them, they don't believe them. So yeah. uh, you need a new – You need. this is the, the cutting edge of marketing, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to change how brands work and how brands promote themselves. Great. Well, Fred, I just have to say it has uh, been great having you on the show today, and I really enjoyed learning more about yourself, your background, your book, of course, and then also um, your new project. So man, great, great stuff there. That being said, if somebody's listening to this and they want to pick up a copy of your latest release or to connect about, about, your, new, uh, about your new venture, I mean, what's the best way for them to do that? The best way is always right straight to my website, fredjoyle.com. Uh, you can request a conversation with me. You, and, and the books are 
uh, available on Amazon in hardcover and in Kindle and in Audible, and it's me reading Audible. So that's that's the easiest way to get the book. But my website's the easiest way to find me, and you can always, you know, track an email down or request a 30-minute conversation with me. That's awesome. Um, and we'll be sure to put those links in the show notes so that our audience can just click on the on the link and head right on over. And speaking of the audience, if this is the first time you've turned into a Mission Matters or tuned into a Mission Matters episode or engaged with the platform, we're all about bringing on business owners, entrepreneurs, and executives and having them share their mission, their expertise, what we can all learn from it so that we can all grow together. If that's the type of content that sounds interesting or fun to you, hit the that subscribe button because we have many more mission-based individuals coming up on the line and we don't want you to miss a thing. And Fred, really, it has been a pleasure. Thanks again for making time to come on the show. Appreciate it. Thank you, Adam. It's been a pleasure on my side as well.